good, man. 25 gamers. There, we're we'll taking a look at our full game commentary of our scheme of the week, and we are going to be using the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this matchup. Really like the Buccaneers for the spread because of their lack of a tight end, and uh, their defense fits well with the 4-4. So we're going to have a we should have a team breakdown for them soon. Uh, but really like the Buccaneers, and uh, here we're going to return the ball, and, and uh, we're going to get into this offense now. Uh, the shotgun spread, the run and shoot playbook. I uh, really, really like this offensive formation. So let's get into it. Um, coming out, we're going to come out in the shotgun spread and just make sure our depth chart is good. It is. And we're going to come out in our base play, the run and shoot switch dig. Um, remember, we like to, you know, based on the situation, we like to make some hot routes to it. So just remember that. Here we go. So we're going to snap our first read here is the wheel routes. And we see he's going to give us these wheel routes, so we're going to take those against man and uh, quickly move the ball upfield. I like to run no huddle when I'm running the run and shoot. Uh, I feel like a speedy offense out of this is really effective. So here we go. Cornerbacks are back. We recognize that. We're going to check down into our gun trips. Um, looking, for the, looking for our smash concept. Do we have that in here? I don't think we do, actually. Well, we're going to have to go to this formation anyway. Check down, and I'm just going to uh, go play. Actually, I'm going to try to hit him deep over the top here. Got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Josh Freeman has a cannon of an arm. Vincent Jackson deep, and that's a one-on-one -on -one matchup that I'm perfectly fine with throwing that up once or twice a game. Uh, just give 83 an opportunity to make a play on the ball. Um, okay, guys, here we're going to take a look at this uh, third-and-one situation. Last time he had the cornerbacks off coverage. So we need to recognize that, possibly come out and smash on the next time. But uh, just check in here. And we're going to go down, and we're going to check down into the pistol spread. And we're going to try and see if we can't hit these slant bubble screens here. Yep, he's in zone, so we can take the bubble screen option. Get a quick three yards and get out of bounds. Don't need to take any unnecessary shots. And here we go. So uh, the spread, guys, is really effective, especially when you can set up your quick audibles. I didn't really do that for this one. Uh, but having that smash play at the arsenal is a really good play to check into when they're off coverage like this. All right, in this situation, I'm going to check down into my run, the halfback sweep, because he has uh, four guys in the box, and Doug Martin's a really good running back. So I'm going to be willing to take that all day long, and we're going to get a quick seven yards there. All right. Oh, accidentally called the wrong play, unfortunately. So let's see if we can get back into spread from it. Uh, all these, yep, we can. We're going to go in a single back spread here and take an inside zone approach. Second and short. Uh, actually going to check out of that. I'm going to go to the slant flats here. But I'm going to create a curl flat concept. And here we go. All right, I take my flat there. And stay in bounce. You always want to stay in bounce out of this. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to there. But ideally, you stay in bounce in this offense because if you see something or the defense looks bad and it looks like a good look for no huddle, you always want to have that option. So unless it's two-minute drill, we're going to be staying in bounce a lot. Five-man box. So we'll take this read for run and shoot switch dig. Man coverage. So we'll take our easy pass to Page here. Make a guy miss, and that's the whole idea behind this offense. Uh, not to fumble the ball, but when we make guys miss like that in space, we're trying to get our uh, playmakers the ball in space so they can make moves like that. Unfortunately, we ended up fumbling the ball. So now we're into the D. Uh, 44D here, and we're going to start out with our base play, the 2D. And we're just going to spy a guy and, and just kind of come out and, and, and show our base and, and not really try to gamble. Just trying to get an idea of what he's going to be doing offensively. If he'll ever, is he going to come out of here? Alright. Alright, so we got bunch formation. He's playmaking. Probably going to be a run to the left here. Nope, no run. Alright, so we're going to stay down here. And that was us. I don't know how we didn't intercept that. Ball hawk sucks this year. So we were, like, right in position. Unfortunately, the game does not want us to intercept the ball this year for some reason. But that's okay. It's just kind of frustrating because you were right there. But, eh, it's all right. Just stay with it. Watch out for the run. you got to be aware of the run out of the bunch. Bunch is really good for running the ball. Yep, 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 there it is. Yep, called it. Revis makes a big-time tackle there. That was a touchdown saver. 
That's a tough run to stop. Halfback slash fake in around, guys. If you don't know it, uh, check that run out. It's pretty effective. Oh my gosh. Counter. Yep, and we got caught because the game made us shift the linebackers, unfortunately. That's why defense is so hard in this game, guys. Because you make one mistake and you could be toasted for 30, 40 yards down the field. And it's not really forgiving, so you've got to be on your toes. Uh, situation right there, again. A tough situation to be in as a defense. All right, we're going to leave the flat zones out because he's been running the ball a lot. We're going to back off Golson. Run inside. we got to make that. Yep, good job. Good play. Defensive tackle there. Big, big for us. And um, in that situation, you just got to, you know, there are certainly situations where we'll get a few of those. And that's why we are kind of somewhat all right with him running, running the run heavy ball offense. But at the same time, we're not, we got to be aware. So second and nine here. I'm just going to go with the max coverage D. Out of the two man under here, show him a different look. Watch for the run though. I gotta make that tackle. Come on, gotta make that tackle. So we got him third and inches. That was just a poor, poor, poor play by me. Just not making a good, not making a good showing right now on the D. Uh, we're gonna go to a heavy run D here. All right, here we go. Selling out against the run, yes. Play action. Yep, got lucky he called a play action play because luckily the play action delayed it long enough so the defense could get in for the sack. If he would have just called a quick pass, he would have had a lot better of an opportunity to beat us deep. But we gambled, we guessed right, and luckily we, we came out on top on that gamble. All right, fourth and five here. If he goes for it, uh, depends on the personnel he comes down. You know he, he's shown us he likes to run the ball. So if he likes to run it, we have a little something for him. If he likes to pass it, we're going to gamble hard on the underneath stuff. All right, let's see what he's got here. Yeah, he's probably going to go for it. He's taking a while to pick his play. All right, one running. He's in a single back ace. So we're going to send our edge pressure off the left side on him here. And we're going to put our hook zones out there. Trust the hook zones here. And our main our main watch, we're mainly watching slants. There we go. There we go. There we go. Pick. Good job. All right, so we got the interception. Now it's time to make something happen. I think we may be able to get him for six here. Come on, Kuchera. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, no, Kaepernick. Kaepernick. Dang it, Kaepernick. Unfortunately, the backers on the Bucks aren't—they're not all fast, so that's just part of the—that's just part of the deal. Okay, so come out in the base play here. Uh, hopefully, they don't fumble the ball for me. Okay, so you see the alignment here. Obviously, flat left should be open, so that's our first read here. Okay, he's in cover two, slant on the backside to Jackson. That's an, that's just an automatic understanding uh, with the two flat routes we have on this play. It makes it a lot easier to run beat cover two. So, kind of had an idea that'd be open. Probably gonna go cover two again. Yep. Oh, he manned him up. Okay, so Josh Freeman can scramble a little bit. So since he was manned up, I knew I had the opportunity to scramble there um, because if they were in zone, they would have played me. But since he was in man, they didn't. And now it's time to punch it in with a run out of the single back spread to inside zone. Trying to get Doug Martin some touches here. And there we go. So there's a touchdown. So that's a good, that's somewhat of a decent first couple drives there. The offense really hasn't been slowed down yet. Uh, and that's kind of a common theme for the spread. Uh, just because the spread is so effective this year. So just know that you're probably going to be scoring a lot of points. Uh, but at the same time, don't get too cocky with it. Because um, because what can happen is um, you can start throwing interceptions. Good catch there by Shepard. I like to go for two early in the game to see if I have a good to see if I get good looks. That way I know and I can set stuff up for later in the game. So when I come out and go for two in a crunch position, he, you know I can run quarterback sneak. I can run quarterback halfback pyro. I can run the fades. I can run the, the comebacks. I can do all sorts of different things. So. That's kind of the idea behind that. 
almost got a, almost got another kick return. Kicks are difficult. Uh, I'm going to be working on some actual kick return defense. Uh, there's obviously some certain common concepts, but I'm going to try and figure out if we can get him inside the 20. Uh, if we can pin him inside the 20, uh, it's going to do a lot of good for our defense. All right, defensively here, we're going to come out and just send our right edge pressure here. But note, he does like to run the ball, so we can't pass him it yet. Get to the edge, set the edge, force it back to the inside. That's just kind of the way it's going to go for a little bit with the run because he's so uh, so good with the Niners. They're so good at running the ball. You really have to kind of call your zone blitz to stop it. And so we're not going to overcommit uh, this early on in the game. Another run. That's fine. Two yards. I mean, that's fine. He's going to be running the ball, and that's fine. Like I said, it's not going to kill us. Three yards, four yards here and there, that's not going to hurt us. It's going to hurt us as the play action. So we're kind of sitting on that play. Bimba don't break style with this team, uh, especially considering the fact that their defense is not as good as their offense. So just understand that, note that, and try to get you an interception like we did earlier. So at this point, we're kind of winning. Uh, we're even at the turnover better. We need one more turnover, and then we should be good. All right. So, uh, in this situation, we're come out in our zone D, and we're going to send it off, uh, yeah, we'll send it off both edges here. This is probably going to be a run. We're going to overplay run left. We're just going to crash down on it, and we guess wrong. That's unfortunate. But we get a guy out there, luckily. I mean, that's, that's kind of a situation where we're just gambling on it, uh, because we knew it was going to be a run, but we didn't know which side. We kind of gambled on where it would be to. So that, that's just a part of, part of the game, you know. All right, second and four. In the situation we're just gonna be. Uh, I think this is zone blitz time if he comes out pro. Yeah, we're gonna go zone blitz here. Might be wide receiver double shake time for him though. Nope, 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 nope. Wrap up. Good job. Okay, so we've got him third and two. In this situation, this is zone blitz time unless he comes out in a pass-heavy formation. But well, since he's been running a lot, he's probably not going to be doing that. So let's see what he does here. Alright, he is... Let's see. Should come out pro. I guarantee you come out pro. Comes out four wide. Okay, so we're just going to run a heavy pressure off both edges. Put these guys in flats. All right, try to make some adjustments, but the stupid game sucks so bad I can't make an adjustment. Dive. I read that. There we go. All right, so fourth and one. I am almost betting my money he's going to run the ball here. He's ran the ball three consecutive times. He's ran out of spread. If he doesn't run here, he is a genius, but I'm almost gambling. I'm almost positive he's going to run the ball here. Yep, three tight end. This is going to be a quarterback sneak, so we're going to spread our line. We're going to pitch our linebackers, and my job is to just kind of watch that guy right there. Watch the quarterback. And Okay, he snuck through. That's fine. That's not, I mean, that's, not, that's part of it. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But the idea is we try to show that we got it stopped, but in reality, we were kind of selling out on the power O there. Alright, uh, ball at the 50. Uh, again, probably going to be a run. He's been running the ball a lot. That's fine. Uh, we're going to send pressure off the left side here. Watch the running back. Nope, nope, nope. Pass. There we go. There's your pressure. There we go. And like I said, you know, a lot of people say that play action blocking stops some blitzes. And that is certainly correct. It does stop a lot of blitzes. But it doesn't stop all blitzes. And that's what I like about this 4-4. The blitzes I gave you out of this formation. Uh, play action blocking, it does not stop it. So now we need to definitely watch for a run, though. Screen. Ah, I need somebody out there. I had three people over there. and None of them, none of them wanted to play a ball. That's okay. Alright, uh, he's been doing a good job mixing his play calling. I'm going to send a man blitz off the edge here to cover two man. And if he wants to pass, he can, or if he wants to run, he can probably run on this. Alright, go line. This is going to be something. I'm going to show quarterback sneaks open, though. Alright. 
right, so I'm sitting here on the QB sneak. He's probably going to run outside, though. I'm kind of gambling on it. Unfortunately, I was offside. That sucks. But see, this is a good drive. This is a good chess match drive. I mean, he's going. we're going back and forth. He's not getting anything big. And it's just it's a tough drive for him, and that's 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 all I'm trying to do. You know, defense this year, you're not going to absolutely be able to shut people out if, if they're any decent at the game. So you just have to realize that. You have to be all right with that. But, you know, we, we hit him in the face a couple of times with the blitzes. You know, we've kind of been there a couple of plays. So I'm perfectly fine with the way this defensive game has been playing out. Uh, I'm gambling here. I, if I can get him in a second along, see, I feel like if I can get him a second along, I got him. So here I'm kind of selling out on the run here. Zone blitz. Good job. Good job, Junior Casilius. Good job, buddy. So we got him in the second along like we needed to. Now we've got a situation here. Do we play max coverage or do we send pressure? I'm going to play max coverage, and I'm going to do it from the two-man under. All right, here we go. There's a run. All right, good. Now we got him in third and long, and now we can send pressure at him. Now we can kind of take it away. Now we can set up the two deep double-sided blitz and uh, put the hook zones out there. Uh, for those of you guys who have, have been wondering why you haven't seen many gameplays from me real quick, um, the internet, I've, I've had some problems with the internet. I got it fixed, so hopefully you'll see a lot more gameplay from me. That's just a quick note while we're waiting on him to pick his play. So you'll be seeing hopefully one gameplay a day, hopefully. Uh, so we're trying, we're, tr we're trying hard to get that out. All right, so again, you're sending two, pr two guys off the edge here, and you're going to try to use the yellow uh, disguise cushion yellow zone technique that we saw from Z-Boy365 uh, a couple days ago. There we go. There's our play set up. We have to watch out for slant. We're just going to sit here. Literally just sit right here. And there you go. There you go. Play action play. Didn't have enough time. All right, he's going to go for it. We're going to do the same exact thing. All right, here we go. We got the play set up. All right, out routes are covered. Again, we are watching slant. And we're sitting, literally sitting at this marker, and we're just going to tackle. That's all he's going to have time to do. He's going to have to run after catch. There's your slant, and I just sit on it. There we go. So there's, there's a stop, and that's exactly what we needed on our defense. And that's what, that's what I'm saying. Ben, but don't break drive. We ended up catching him on a first down. We got him stopped in the backfield, and then we were able to make a couple of adjustments on his passing plays. And able to get the stop, and now we need to go score. We got a minute 29 left. Ideally, he does not touch the ball again. So we need to keep everything kind of towards the inside or make sure we're not going out of bounds. Like this, look for the wheels. Yep, man coverage again. We're going to take that every time. Uh, he's just going to give us a touchdown, so we're going to go ahead and take this one. Um, all the way down here. And now we're trying to score as fast as possible. You know, based off the way that first thing went. And what, what, I, mean, what I mean by I'm trying to score as fast as possible, now I'm trying to get him the ball back with enough time for him to make enough mistakes so that I can possibly get the ball and go down the field again. And I dropped that one. Dang it. Okay, so now we're back into, I mean, with a minute left, you don't want to force anything. But at the same time, you don't want to... You don't want to sit on the ball and then give him the ball back with about 30 seconds. You want to give him the ball back with about a minute, uh, about a minute left, so you're, you're ideally. All right, so we got this kind of a look here. I'm going to check down. This is kind of just me admitting. Um, this is a situation where I'm going to just go ahead and say, okay, you got me here. I'm just going to go ahead and just take my, th my three points, but I'm taking clock with me. But, you know, if I, if I break a run, I break a run. But, again, you're just trying to take clock now. This is clock management. We're trying to keep him off the field. Um, oh, I can't find the Z-spot play, though. I don't know where that went. I thought I had a Z-spot play here. But, anyway, I mean, we're just trying here now to preserve this uh, half. So, we're not going to snap the ball if he's not going to force us to. And we're just going to, you know, ideally give him the ball back with under 10 seconds to go. We just, ba I mean, because basically that we we wanted to take a shot, we took our shot, didn't work out. So now we're just taking our, we're just either taking our three points, 
Uh, but we're taking the half with us so that we go up by two possessions uh, before half. And we get ball. I think we get ball at half, actually. Hope we do. There's Doug Martin for you. And I'm going to sub. I'm just going to stay no huddle just so he feels like the pressure is on. Ideally, he should call a timeout here. Uh, I'm going to call a hike at. Nah, f I'm going to call a hike at six seconds. Actually, I'm going to call a hike at eight. And there we go. So we walk in. Uh, six seconds left. So he's going to have time for a kick return. And we're just going to squib kick it. And then we're going to go man up three deep. Uh, here, we're going to go for two again, though. All right. All right, X should be wide open here. And he, oh my gosh, Josh Freeman. Dang it. Okay. Unfortunately, he got us. Uh, he got us there. Should have just took the, the field goal because, I mean, might have been up by, you know, two scores. But I was trying to go up by maybe three scores if he forgot to go for two or missed his two-pointer. But it didn't work out. So, a squib kick here. Just keep the ball in front of you here. Even if he gets the ball to the 50, he's still, I mean, he's got one, maybe two plays. So, you're just trying to keep, yeah, four seconds now. You got him four seconds. He's going to have time for one play. So here you're just man up three deep, and you back the coverage off, and you call disguise cushion too. The reason you call disguise cushion, it makes those deep blue zones get deeper downfield. All right, and then we're gonna man up a guy on the running back here, McCoy, and we're gonna use a rush with Claiborne. There we go, and I'll take it to the half. So good half there overall. I mean, a pretty good half. You saw some mistakes. You saw some success, and uh, now we're going to head into the second half with a little bit more of a game plan and idea of what we want to do here defensively. Actually, I think I'm going to have to kick. Yep, I have to kick, unfortunately. Okay, so his ball coming out, probably going to be more running. A lot of running there early, and off, early on in the game, but we kind of held him, and that was a pretty good example of how the defense is supposed to work. Um, all right, here we got a short kick. Trying to keep him under the 30. Did a pretty good job of it there. So, uh, in this situation, I mean, you're just sending um, your basics. You're not in your base anymore. You kind of we saw we've kind of stuck with the two deep a lot. Um, but here we're gonna send a man blitz off the off the right edge here. Um, and we're not gonna pass, but we haven't been pass. Actually, we are gonna pass him here. Counter. We got to set the edge. We set the edge. Make him cut back into the big boys, and uh, four yard gain. I mean, that's fine. We'll take that out of something we weren't we weren't expecting. Run. We were trying to gamble on the pass early, and uh, you know, four yards is fine. It's going to keep him in front of us. All right. Uh, second and six. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the zone with um with the zone blitz here. Just see what he does. Yep, stretch. I got to get out there, set the edge. There we go, and there's the run defense showing up for us. Third and seven. Audible here to the two deep, sending both guys free here and doing the uh, baseline twice concept. And we're just gambling on anything quick. If he throws two quick slants, he's probably got us. Oh, I called this guy's cushion. Oh, he tripped. Oh, my gosh. I called this guy's cushion, man. Shoot. Dang it, that's frustrating. Call, not only did I call this guy's cushion, the dude tripped my guy on the... Oh, uh, that's like I said, you know, you make a little mistake. You, maybe I accidentally forgot to bump this guy's cushion there. I don't know what happened on that, but... Typically, that should have... My guy should have went with him. I don't know why he didn't. But you see, you make one mistake, and it could be six points the other way, and now it's a ball game again. So, that's just kind of something you have to keep in your, in your head. So... Also, I kick here. Just get on a second guy, hold L2, and they're not going to be able to get it. <laughs> so. Alright, guys. First and turn 10 here in this situation, we're just trying to keep the, keep the scoring going. We're not trying to turn it over here. This is kind of ball control. So, if it's not open early, we're either throwing it away or, or hitting the flats. And... All right, so we're just going to take this with the quarterback. I mean, that's just kind of easy. And 
we'll just get out of bounds, not try not to take a hit. Unfortunately, we did take a hit, but we're trying just to keep it out of the fumble opportunity for the defense. And guys, with the offense, I mean, here, this is a situation where you're, if you think about it, he's got probably three more possessions this game. So it's your responsibility now to kind of preserve the game offensively. You don't want to get complacent, but you certainly don't want to be too aggressive. Um, so you're going to see a lot of quick runs, a lot of uh, flat passes. You're not going to see me go deep as much with this situation because you don't want to turn it over. You're not taking shots with Vincent Jackson. You're definitely not trying to send 25 people to the quarterback. So... All right, corners are back here, so this is a good time for four verticals. We're going to put two out routes out there. All right, and cover zero blitz. End up getting him deep, but unfortunately that guy made a freakishly athletic play on the ball. Might have been because my quarterback's Glennon now. All right, guys. Uh, cornerbacks are back again. I really want to throw a out route, so I'm gonna throw an out route here. I hit Jackson on the out route. All right, so he adjusted there. But I got my deep post over the middle. Big catch by Williams. Man, another fumble. So that's what I was saying, guys. You know, you never know. I mean, you gotta. You always gotta, you always gotta have something, cause I mean, there's certain situations there that I said, you know, I was up 14 nothing, come out, blow a coverage call, and next thing you know, it's 14-7, his ball, one fumble, two plays, and that's just part of it. I mean, then you know, that's why you, that's why you get a defensive scheme. That's why you work on stuff like this. So here we go. We're setting up the pressure. Probably a counter. I don't know what he's doing here. I think it's a reverse or something. Kind of an inside zone split. That's a weird play. Give me that ball. Oh, I have like 20 people on it. That was one of those plays you don't see a lot. So, looking back on it, guys, if I had to take something back, I would have definitely taken back that read option call. Shouldn't have called that. That was a stupid call because it was putting my quarterback in harm's way. I should have called the halfback sweep or something. I was trying to get the ball to Martin, but they played the running back for some reason, so... A lot of times they won't play the running back here. Drag cross ups is a possibility. Potentially the dive. Um, all right, a couple drags, a couple slants. Dive tackle. Yep, okay, so now we see that's a formation we haven't seen yet. He likes crossing patterns. We know that, you know, stop that's going to be two men under, something like that along those lines. So this is kind of just like now he's starting to show us new elements of his offense. He wasn't showing us earlier, so now it's just kind of playing that. Now we're kind of looking forward to this now and how we're going to defend it. Here we're going to send pressure off the right. And we're going to put Golson in a hook zone. And play action. That was a good play action call. Pick, pick, pick that off, buddy. Come on, you had plenty of space. You could have made the play, dang it. All right, second and long. I'm still going to send that pressure. He's not den doing pretty good with this pressure, so we're going to keep sending it. He ran out of this last time. Yep, ran out of that last time. So just kind of watched out for that, and, and I kind of spied the run there, but, you know, that was just a two-man under blitz off the right edge. We are just kind of covering the middle, and now we're in that 248 stuff now where we're getting in that situation where we can start to gamble on him. I remember the last time he went deep, so we're going to send two-way heat, and then we're going to put these linebackers in flat zones here to adjust to the quick flat passes, still have the two-way pressure, and my job is the middle of the field. And, okay, so he went middle of the field. That's fine. That's just kind of, kind of the way it goes. You can't use her the whole field, and that's just, that's kind of a situation. We're trying to take away flats and deep. We're not trying to take away middle because he's been going flats and deep, so that's kind of just kind of tendencies and stuff like that, so... Now we have him in a situation where he's first and 10 on 38. I cannot let him uh, hold the ball. Uh, I have to have the ball back with about five minutes to go in the fourth. That's kind of the goal here. Basic blitz left here. Really kind of watching this run. All right. Crossing patterns, crossing patterns. Come on, make it big for me. Make a play, make a play, make a play. Oh, they dropped it. 
<sighs> okay. Let me see what I got on my defensive depth chart here. If I get maybe missing something. No, I gotta have him in there. Okay. Uh, second and long here. Uh, we're gonna go coverage D. We haven't shown coverage D much. So here we go. Coverage defense. Remember, he's been running the ball off the right edge with that. So we're gonna kind of shift to the right here with our safety and show him that we're over here. And okay, quarterback scramble. Oh, that's ugly. That is the ugliest play I've ever seen. I don't ever see that. That's the weirdest. I don't know why the... Oh, it's because I... Ex okay. So I made a bad call. I made a bad adjustment there. I, I Instead of putting my defensive end on a contain, I put him on a... Um... Alright, run. Definitely run here. Probably going to be run to the right. Remember last time he ran to the right out of this? There we go. We blew it up. That should have been a fumble. I don't know why. That was not a fumble. He died. I killed him. Man, Frank Gore. All right, second along. Now you're going to see this is coverage D opportunity. Uh, we're not going to do the global yellow, yellow. We're going to do purples this time uh, because it seems like that's kind of where he wants to go, uh, purple or flat area. So we're adjusting to his tendency, and we need a contain out there for Kaepernick. Remember, Kaepernick's right-handed, so he's going to be. we're going to spy contain the right edge and force Kaepernick to kind of sit in the pocket and make a read. All right, so basic coverage defense. There's a run, and we just kind of hold that contain into three. Um. All right, so third and nine. I really want to send pressure, but I think this coverage defense will work. I got to get back over here. There we go. There we go. All right, fourth and long. How does Kaepernick not get hurt? But my guys do. That's ridiculous. Dang. Oh, I gave a Gore concussion. Well, I get. I mean, that's a fair trade off. You know, they only got like seven more running backs that have like 90 speed and 85,000 break tackle. That's okay. Uh, fourth and eight. Okay, so he went with field goal here. That's a good decision on his part. Um, uh, and like I said, I could not have him that. Ha I needed that ball back at the start of the fourth quarter because now look what's going to happen is. I'm going to have a possession, then he's going to have a possession. Theoretically, I get one more possession than he does now. i got three possessions left. Three possessions total left. I have one. He has one. It's going to leave about a minute two th to two minutes left on the game clock, and then we'll be able to go with that. So, oh my, Another fumble. Another fumble. Oh, my gosh. That's th is that three fumbles? Luckily, that's a penalty, but that's like three or four fumbles this game. I'm going to have to accept that. <laughs> I don't know why people on I I don't understand the point of why am I on defense? That is the biggest Bush League call. I accepted the penalty. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Uh set the edge. Went too wide. That's an idiotic play by me. That is a horrible user play by me. Should have never went outside there. That was just absolutely stupid. Kind of gambling here on the pass. I think he's going to pass it. But I have to watch out for that run again. All right. Oh. Uh, uh. Luckily, he didn't have two feet in, but dang. Like I said, you know, you make a couple mistakes in this game. This is, I mean, you're seeing it firsthand, guys. You know, I haven't even made many mistakes this game, but probably the two or three mistakes I've made, it's ten points as ball, so. This is what I said could not happen because now he's going to get that last possession. So depending on if I score or not, is going this next drive is going to be crucial for me offensively. Oh, what a oh, dang it! Tackle him right there. Maybe I can hold him to three. Dang it, that's bad. I don't even know what happened on that. I think I accidentally ran commit and I didn't mean to. Ooh. Uh, get out there on the quarterback. Why does nobody... 
man, he got me there. He had been going quarterback sneak, quarterback sneak. I came out in a defense for quarterback sneak, and he that's a good check, match, check match move. So you're seeing firsthand the reason why Madden 25 is probably one of the toughest games to be good at because it's like computer mode for offense. I mean, every offense is really good. And then this onside kick crap he just got me with earlier, that was ridiculous. I don't even know how you can do that. There we go. Now you actually recover the ball. Let's see if you hold on to the ball this time. I think he's got four fumbles. So, defense has had to be great. Offense is going to have to score here. And I'm looking to score before the four-minute mark. I have to score before the four-minute mark if I even want to have a shot at scoring, the, at getting the ball back. Because now that he has the lead, now I'm in trouble. Because, I mean, theoretically, I'm still in the driver's seat because I gave him that big play instead of him driving up the field. But I have to make sure he has the ball back before four minutes. Okay, so... There we go. There's the wheel route. Josh Freeman making horrible passes. So that's pretty good by him. I love that when my quarterback makes bad passes like that and I make the proper read. It seems like the common theme of this game. <laughs> Dang it, I'm mad about that. I'm still sour about that onside kick. Okay. Uh, here, again, you're just kind of running your main stuff. I mean, there's no reason to get out of it. He's running two men under all game. So... Oh, cover two sink. Look at him changing it up. Uh, oh, that was that could have been bad. That could have been bad. Oh, uh, I don't even know what I was. I don't even know why I didn't hit the drag right underneath. That was just a. I kind of, I kind of just assumed two men under, and he got me with that cover two sink call. So it's all right. Alright, so again, you just kind of run it. You make sure you have that drag out, though. Like there. Ah, oh, could you say the word hip power? Holy cow. We've got to go for this. Uh, he's been running cover to sink. So I'm going to run smash here. I'm going to... This is a this is a situation. Going to go away from my main offense, my main formation out of that spread. And I'm going to have to take an opportunity to try to get something going with this X spot or slot corner play. Turn it into a smash concept. <sighs> okay, so here we go. This is a big play in this game right here. This is huge. Roll. Got him. Can I get that first? Nice play, Ogletree. Just got the first down there. Just got the first down. That's a good play call by him. I mean, that's that, those cover twos is, is tougher to beat. Like I said, you know, if you have in your quick audibles that smash play, you can always audible to do that. But, yeah, there was a big time conversion by me. Probably a cover two here. Easy read right there. Just hit Ogletree. And uh, get a quick gain. Like I said, you know, you're trying to score here quicker. Uh, this is no huddle time. This is time where you are going quick. you got to keep the ball in your hands at least until four minutes. And then ideally, now you have an opportunity to go win the game if, for ex indeed, he scores next. So I'm going to take my run op option here. Golly, man. Hit power for days. I don't. I mean, I don't even know how my guys are still alive. I'm going to go four verticals here. I'm going to take a shot. Uh, a lot of cover two lately. Man, what a pass rush. Holy cow. Alright, um, third and 12, I really want to run the ball and just take my three. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to run the ball, I'm going to take three points if I can't get the first. Okay, so I'm going to take my three here. Reason being, I tie the game up, he gets the ball back with one more possession, and I feel confident my defense can lock him up, but it still sets me up for a situation later in the game in case I need to uh, tie it. Right there, you're not trying to get fancy. You gotta get on the board. You gotta stay to play the possession battle right now. So we're gonna take our three. We're gonna kick the ball off to him, and uh, we're gonna force him to drive up the field on us. Like I said, we're probably gonna get the ball back with about a minute, a minute and a half if he scores here, and that's where we gotta make our money with this offense. Probably gonna see a lot more smash. Uh, I'm gonna go to the trips because the trip seems like it's gonna change it up enough. Like I said, the importance of that mini scheme, that X factor play uh, out of that single back wide trips, you're gonna see it now probably. 
All right. Okay, so four four. Probably gonna be a run. I mean, he's he's shown he likes to run the ball. Not only is he shown he likes to run the ball, but this is a situation where I would run the ball if I were him. Try to take clock off. Yep. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we got him second and long. Now here's where you've got to make your money as a defense. You've got to convert this. You've got to force him to take his, uh, you know, take a two, three yard pass, set you up for third down here. So this is max coverage time. Okay, here we go. Got a max coverage D set up. Counter. I got to watch that right there. And there we go. That's a good play by me. Remember, he's been hitting me with that all game. Now we're going to send a pressure. Okay, our job is our job is a slot here. We got to watch out for the slot. There we go. That's a huge play by my man Kuchera. Way to get out there on that. That's why we like to use those double double baseline yellow zones. Pretty big stop there by the defense. Exactly what I needed. And now this is a four-minute offense. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard what a four-minute offense is. If he goes for this, I, that's like the dumbest decision he can. Well, actually, it's not a bad decision because then you play the numbers game. But if he were to punt that ball, I would be playing what's called a four-minute offense, which is where I'm just trying to take clock off and get that field goal. But since she's going for it here, that changes the way I have to play this. Uh, I'm all out trying to stop him here. Two-way pressure. My job is uh, this this area right here. I'm just kind of come up and make a tackle. There we go. There's a sack. Um, all right, so I'm going to run the ball for the rest of the game here. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And the reason I'm running the ball for the rest of the game here, I'm going to go to my three-headed rushing attack out of the pistol spread, is because I have got to... This is an absolutely essential point in the game where I have to take clock off. I have to play the percentages. The percentages say that I'm going to be able to stop him long enough for me to be successful here. No fumbles, though. No fumbles. And this is, this is clock management. Like I said, ideally you get a touchdown... But again, you've got to score. You're not trying to score early. You're trying to hold the ball here. We're going to go full on halfback dive here. And we're going to take an every bit of the clock off that we can because if we don't, if, if we do this, it's going to leave him with about a minute to a minute and a half with three timeouts. Now, that's a good situation to be in if you're offense, but it's also a good situation to be in defensively because if, we've, if he has to score a touchdown, we are now in the driver's seat. If we can get a touchdown here, this is absolutely essential. Did we just draw him off sides? That's absolutely what we could not have as a false start. So that's unfortunate. Okay. So this is a big, big down here. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the counter. Uh, the halfback counter out of my three-headed rushing attack here if I can find it. Uh, main reason is... I cannot, I can't put the ball in Josh Freeman's hands right now because he's gonna fumble. I know it's coming. He's been hitting me hard all game. I know it's coming. Uh, do I want to run right or left here? I'm gonna run right down the middle here. Try to get myself in a third and five. He's spreading out for the read option. I'm gonna take this inside dive and a big run by my man Doug Martin. And I'm gonna take that. Okay, so timeout. Now he's playing percentages. He understands the situation as much as I do. And there's no, at this point, you cannot you cannot go back um, because again, you give him the ball back. You you score say you score right here. You give him the ball back with two minutes and thirty seconds, two timeouts. He's going to either go get a field goal and win the game or tie the game. You have no since you have to play your percentages. You have to play for a tie at the least, but you cannot give yourself that opportunity to beat here. Three and one. I'm gonna go counter. Doug Barton, I needed you to be big. Okay, two minutes left. This is that situation where this is going to be a make or break call. Um, this is a situation where you're going to make or break, you know, your your game here. This is huge. I got my big fullback in, and I'm looking to either run quarterback sneak or halfback power row, depending on the look he's going to give me. This is probably the biggest call of the game right here. This is a huge moment because if we don't get this first down, we stand the chance of losing the game. 
And I'll show, I'll talk about if we do not get the first down, there's a certain way you want to play defense. And we're going to go over that in a sec. Field goal block. We're going to uh, call PA spot. We're blocking everybody on the line of scrimmage. We're going to motion the running back out on a swing to the right. And we got Leonard going out too. Ends up blitzing everybody. There we go. Now this is where you just go down. Not going in. Unfortunately, we got pushed in, but that's fine. So, now you're in a situation. This is exactly how you'd play it if you didn't get the first down. You're going to try and just give him a touchdown. You don't want to make it seem too obvious because then he's going to realize it and not take it. But you're trying to give him a touchdown here. Uh, it's either it's either it's kind of like uh, make a break. You're you're either going to get a sack or you're going to give up a big play. That's what we're going to be playing right now defensively. All right, so do our kick. You don't want to give it. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to make it an easy touchdown. You want to make a moment, but but this is a big situation in the game, and it, you know this is kind of that situation where this is make or break time for your defense. Um, so, again, you're sending, you're sending two-way heat, you're putting the yellow zones on the outside, and you're saying, lob up deep, and you're not, you're not disguised cushioning, you're calling the play, your job is the middle of the field, ideally what happens here is it forces him to go deep, if he goes deep, he either gets it or he gets sacked, and that's kind of the idea, there's a screen, you've got to recognize that, now you've got to play, like I said, you got to get deep, you got to save a touchdown. Now it's save a touchdown time. Now set two minutes and seven seconds. He's got through. He's got one timeout left. You're still doing the same concept. You've got to watch screen though, because screen's the only thing that he can do that's really gonna be able to get in our way. Because it's there's nothing we can do about it. So you have to watch screen. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna man up. I'm gonna take Revis here. Okay, so he's not in a running back anyway, so it's not gonna matter. Okay, watch sweep. Can't overplay that. Pick. Oh, he should have picked that off. Okay. Second and ten. Now you're thinking, again, you still have to keep this in mind. He's got a score here, so you're putting the pressure on. It's make or break time right now for defense. When it gets to one minute, that's when everything changes. And we're going to talk about that if it happens here. Hopefully it doesn't happen. But here, you got to get up in the box. you got to watch screen. That's your main responsibility here is the screen pass. You've got to make sure you're past me too. Screen, screen, that's you. Okay, and there you go. Now let him score. Let him score. Wow, I didn't want him to. Okay, well, I mean, you don't have to let him score here. I mean, that's kind of, actually, that's not a bad idea. So now, again, you still you keep playing this mentality all the way up and down the field. Eventually, he's going to score. If he doesn't score, he's going to throw an interception or get a sack. That's going to change. That's going to make make or break the D. Um, like I said here, you know, crossing routes has been prevalent here. You can't let up a run. There we go. That's what I'm saying. The two deep pressure. You, you're not going to give up a big run here. Ideally, he throws a ball deep into the end zone and catches it or nothing. And you got to make him put it up here. I mean, you, you can't let him take clock off. And that's why we're taking away the, you know, the middle of the field, forcing him to go to the outside. Pick, pick. Oh, I should have picked that off. Okay, okay. So here we go, third and nine, third and nine situation. Um, we're going to gamble here. We're going to gamble on a quick pass. We're going to go with the two-man under fag D, max coverage D here. We're not sending pressure to this situation. Reason being, 135 left. We're going to have time. We're going to get the ball back no matter what he does. So we're going to take this opportunity to play some coverage. All right, we've got our contains. We've got everything out there. Okay, there we go. We forced a quick pass. That's what I was saying. The pressure so intense. Early pressure forces this pass right there. You just saw him getting rid of the ball quick. It's gonna force him. It's gonna force him into this situation. Fourth and nine. What are you gonna call for fourth and nine in this situation? And let's talk about it. Let's go over it real quick. What I like to do in this situation is send a man-to-man -man pressure blitz off of the edges and zone the middle of the field. Remember, he's been going to the middle of the field a lot. Uh, we've shown. That he kind of doesn't have. Here we go. We've got to watch out for the corner route on this side of the field. we got to watch Bolden. That's our main responsibility here. Anquan Bolden 
is going to be the X factor in this fight, on this pass play. Got the tight end manned up for the corner route on the left, on the right. The only thing he can do is hit slant, and slant is what we got here with Golson. Slant Bolden is is the X factor. Where he goes, we go also. All right, there's your slant. There's the press. There's the boom. There's the X factor play. That's a huge play, and that just won us the football game. That's a big time defensive drive. Hopefully, you guys learned something out of that drive. That's a big time uh, chance for you guys to pay attention, figure out how you want to call it there. there. A lot of people call it differently. There's people that call it every single way, but that's a huge time play for me and my personnel, and uh, that's just a big time, a big time call. Ended up paying off for us that time. So here we're just taking quick stuff and uh, should not have even thrown the ball. I don't know why I even threw the ball there. I need to be running, 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 running. Three, run three times. This is where you run three times, punt. You're not trying to score. You're trying to take clock. You're trying to take timeouts away because 124 left. He calls T.O. after this one. Then you got two times now. Uh, we, we should have just needed out, but that was just a stupid play call by me. Now we're just going to run the ball up the middle. That's a big run by Martin again. Martin's been huge for us this game. Made some clutch runs. And uh, this has been a great game to watch. Uh, hopefully you guys have learned something from it. I think there's a lot of things that could be said out of this game. Uh, here, we're, I don't really want to run the counter, but it actually is probably the best call. We're going to motion across, see what he's up to here. Maybe we can clear out some space. We can, so we're going to playmaker it to the right. We're going to take a run off the right. Oh, I forgot you can't do that. Dang it! Unfortunately, he just caught me. Um, I was trying. I was. I was trying to run the ball to the right side of the screen, but in Madden 25, you cannot playmaker the run after you motion across. So you have to make up your mind. Unfortunately, I didn't know that, and uh, I forgot. I knew that. I just forgot that. I forgot about that, and ended up costing me big time there. So 52 seconds. And this is, again, this is two-man under heavy pressure time. Um, you know, Typically, I'll get in a dime package. Uh, he actually did a, a big favor by block, trying to block the punt, so we got a lot of leg under it. He's got to score a touchdown, and he's got 42 seconds to do it. You're going to go with heavy pressure and heavy coverage. It's a combination of both. So you're sending um, pressure here, and then you got deep zones here. You see this? Deep zones here, pressure there. You're cheap, you're keeping him from throwing to the outside, ideally. Oh no! Tackle! Tackle! Dang it! That's retarded. Oh my gosh! That's so stupid. Okay, so uh, forty seconds. Make a break time. All right, you're just trying to keep him. We're going to go to Sky's Cushion here. Try to force him throwing deep. There we go. That's a big-time swat there. Don't go for the interception in this situation. You're trying to swat the ball away. You're playing the down game. He's throwing the ball a lot quicker. Uh, you know, we don't have to send pressure right now, but I still like to send something. Five wide, so we're just going to send single-side pressure. Nobody's going to be blocking, obviously, because they can't. Typically, they cannot actually block anyone here. So five man is going to get in. We know this. I had to watch for the corner route. Pick. Oh, he dropped it again. Come on, buddy. It's all right. Third and ten. Cover two man. We're going to send a pressure off the right edge. And I'm not going to base align it. I don't think I'm going to. Yep, that way they can match up. And I've got this middle of the field. So we're manning up and zoning out. There we go. That's a huge sack. Fourth and 17. This is your situation here. You're sending uh, pressure off of both edges. And you're um, backing off. Deep blue. That play he ran earlier, he's going to it again. Swat Hawk, 
and that's ball game. Good game, buddy. Uh, that's a good game, guys. A lot of stuff you can learn from that. You can learn a lot from my mistakes. I made some mistakes. I made some successful plays. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and uh, please rate the video if you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how good it was. Please comment if you have any questions. And if you guys are new to the YouTube channel and want to see more Madden 25 content, you can subscribe. Thank you guys for watching today's gameplay. We'll see you next week.